All right, YouTube, but what is up and what is good? I am live in the thrift right now on my birthday, and I wasn't gonna record, but I found three pieces of absolute vintage flame that I had to. I have this North Face Extreme Light, very rare puffy jacket. Yes, it is a bit distressed and dirty, but it's only 10 doll hairs. Yo, it's like a ball Barbie. Then I got the Tommy Jeans, Tommy Hill figure, really dope orange hunter jacket with the corduroy motherfucker Kala Hala, and then this yellow rat bastard NYC see that my grandmother crocheted herself saying fuck you rats and fuck 5-0 this thing is crazy blue and gold <laughs> hell yeah um uh, magically in the next store. Uh... all right so i'm magically in the next store they have all these really cool embroidered fbl orlando jerseys which look pretty damn official i mean look at that dude crossing people over with the sun but check this out man in the snapback section they have this really sick international defense pistol association hat right there strap back with the usa eagle clamp bruh more official than a pistol oh man in the shoe section they got the little jakowskis right here for 10 bucks that's not too bad i guess really nice suede all up on them and they also got the little couch little nikes and they have these suede aphos ones with the red clifford suede and the blue whale suede for their 25 bucks i don't know what you got these are actually pretty damn dope the all yellow asics so despite these being super dirty on the suede i really think they look dope just some really sick honey motherfucker asics with the golden interior mayan gold right there boy so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get these bananas to throw on feet but i think these are dope as f oh snap son they got some kobe's in pretty damn good condition right here these actually are in really great condition they got the little gray camo right there they need to be cleaned up a little bit, but for 10 bucks, hell yeah, man, we got some Kobe's. All right, y'all, I'm in the next store right now, and they have this really sick candy blue painted Nike pullover right here, super vintage, a really dope Mexico colorway Christmas Santa Claus ass Killy France La Flame $6 vintage puffy jacket, and this really dope old school 90s color blocked out trench coat. So uh, Thriftland right over there wanted your boy to quit recording. They hopped on the mic and was like, no recording in the store. But I did find a bunch of cool stuff. This Houston Texans shark tooth that's dead stock. It is not vintage, but it is dope as hell. So I had to go ahead and grab that. Look at that perfect curve. Mm. We live in the next one. And who let the dogs out? Hoot, 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 hoot. Damn. The dogs is barking. They got chains on deck with the dead stock Ed Hardy. Oh, it was good. Then you got the tiger freaking biting a knife like a boss hat right here. And you know, you got a slight work with the bricks then. You know, we out here. LOL, this lady in the store was just complaining about their prices on jerseys. But they have this really dope American flag LRG lifted research group jacket. This really cool Shanghai jacket in navy. And the Shanghai jacket in black. What up? Jedi swag. Holy crap. Fubu boys, we in this thing. They have this super dope, only $3 XL, The Rock 05 Platinum Mother Freaking Embroidered Ass Patent Leather Fubu with the side patches for only three bucks, but this is super beat up. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave this guy. I got like holes in it, like mayonnaise and mustard stain. Damn, this is super dope though. Oh my fucking god, YouTube. I found the most fire jacket of all time. It's only 10 bucks. It's a FUBU Varsity Satin Jacket. Oh my dear god. Then back door, they have a Chicago Bulls logo athletic vintage jacket for 13. I've actually copped one of these before. That is nuts. You know, I have no thrift chariot today, but it's my birthday and it seems like the thrift gods are blessing me. I got the crazy ass Ed Hardy hat to be hilarious. It was only two bucks, so yeah, F with me. I also got the Bulls and the FUBU Boys really sick all embroidered varsity jacket. It's nuts. Snapchat. All right, so I'm gonna save this with my girl and I got that nine piece straight eight ball leather jacket. It's only 13 bucks. This thing is super, super nuts, and it zips up. It's purple and black, bruh. Lord have mercy, you guys already know we stay too Gucci for Gucci. They got the all embroidered Gucci hoodie right here. 
for 10 bucks. I definitely got to get this. This is too Fuji for Gucci. And then they got the Tommy Hilfiger crew neck for six bucks. With the Tommy Hill figure going down the sleeves, hell yeah. Then you have the Barney Purple, super early 90s vintage, Shaw Lake City, Utah, little pullover hoodie shirt zip up thing. La Flame. All right, so in the next thrift store, which is true, well, I found this New York Yankees little aqua and navy in this Christian Dior vintage 90s little like crew neck pocketed hoodie dope boy magic thingy. Yes. So what is up guys, as y'all can tell we are back in the crib right now with the awesome thrift haul. First and foremost, I apologize for lagging on the videos this week. I've been super busy with midterms and have had some major projects which you guys will see very very soon in the works that are coming up. But without further ado, let's get into each and every single item I cop today in no particular order. Let's get it! So first and foremost, we are starting off this thrift haul with the amazing Tommy Hilfiger Corduroy Kala Hala Bright Neon Cheeto Orange Mother Freaka Bambi's Father Assassinator Jacket right here. It is all quilted, which is amazing. It says Tommy Jeans in the buttons, Tommy Jeans on the back, and this actually can be used to shoot your friend in the face and go all Dick Cheney-esque on them boys. What's good? The next piece I have right here is this really sick embroidered and crocheted by your grandmother yellow rat bastard rat sweater right here. This is really sick, you bastard. Next up, I went ahead and acquired the Extreme Light by North Face right here. It was only 10 bucks. This thing is super crazy. It has a really flamey aqua patch on the sleeve. It's navy blue and black with the North Face embroidered in the all black mother freaking thread. And let me put it on real quick. This thing fits like a dream. It is amazing and I definitely love it. You can adjust all the sleeves. It has zippers in the sleeves. Zippers on zippers on zippers, zippers on the inside. This is extremely high quality. It is a bit distressed and stained, but I love it. I'm definitely keeping it for the personal collection what's happening. I also went ahead and grabbed this really sick DEA Austin Residency Office or whatever Austin Resident Office, whatever that says, in the black and gold colorway. It is really dope and you guys already know I'm a Fed Rally Fuck 5-0. We in this thing though. Then at Salvation Army, I had to come through and pay the Lord for this really amazing International Defense Pistol Association snapback right here. It is all beige, a bit more floppy with the amazing American Eagle in bronze clasp on the back of that ass. Look at this though, you got the world, you got a pistol, you got that Glock 9, son. Then at Salvation Army, I grabbed two pairs of kicks. I got the Kobe's, these are actually in size 10 and a half right here. They have the really sick snake texture with the urban camo on deck, the red interior, and it also has the Kobe signature on the back. These are in pretty good condition. They will be for sale on hfv.bigcartel.com. Definitely follow the HFV official Instagram because I'm not posting these right now because I have class later, but these will be posted tonight. So make sure you follow us on IG. The link will be down below and you guys will know exactly when these drop if you would like to cop. You dig? Then for the personal collection, I went ahead and grabbed the ASIC Banana Gel Light 8 or whatever these are. They're all suede, yellow suede all over the frame. They got that honey golden interior, these nice hits of teal that are so real. And then this matte black-esque type of color on deck. I really, really like these. You guys will see them very soon in a project I'm working on. And these are absolutely amazingly flamey. Banana. Then at the store, they said I couldn't record in like some bitches. I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of items. It sucks I couldn't record because I had some major flame in there. So first off, I got this really sick Mexico Christmas colorway, a $6.00. Killy France little jacket right here. This was super dope and has a concealed hood on deck. This will be for sale on HFV.BigCartel. I also went ahead and grabbed the really dope 90s trench coat right here. As y'all can see, one sleeve has the three 90s colors on deck, which are like the primary colors with that classic hit of forest green. It has a golden YKK zip, really dope fleece interior with the collar clasp all up on that neck ass. Then of course, we're the Cantu Riding Candy Blue crew so it's only right and fitting that I went ahead and grabbed the Nike Air Cantu Candy Blue pullover right hither. I also grabbed a bunch of really sick jerseys which unfortunately were not caught on camera because I was being a law-abiding citizen in there. I got this really sick logo athletic Patriots jersey right here. It says Glenn number 88 on the back. I'm not quite sure who this player is but this jersey was too flamey to pass up. Look at that italicized mother freak of funk boy. Then I grabbed some more Boston gear. I got this Scherzer Bank 
um, Boston Celtics number 55 jersey right here. It is a youth size XL, so fits like an adult small. And then I went ahead and grabbed a Ray Allen jersey as well. This is youth size large, which is like an extra small. So any female viewers that would like some basketball jerseys, these will be up for grabs on HIV.BigCartel again. So get them while they hot and they will all drop later today. Then I grabbed a really sick Boston Bruins a black and gold-esque Timberland Pro jersey right here. It has number 20 on the back with that last name. It got 20 on the sleeves. So this is a really sick jersey. If you guys are not a Boston Bruins fan but want that black and gold look, this will be perfect and off the hook. Then at the next show, I went ahead and grabbed some more jacket heat. I got this Chicago Bulls logo athletic jacket right here this is in really great condition all red on the inside however it does have a temporary zipper which isn't too big of an issue it will function you guys can honestly replace these type of zippers with anything in the world i already have one of these so this will be for sale as well oh my dear lord then i went ahead and grabbed one of the best grail piece thrift finds of all time for me personally I got the FUBU Varsity Jacket right here in size extra large. It is a satin jacket with FUBU 05 all embroidered in. If you guys don't already know, FUBU Boys is the movement. 05 embroidered on the sleeve right there. And then it has this really sick FUBU patch on the other sleeve. This is very high quality. FUBU Sports tag on the back for only 10 bucks. I had to go ahead and cop this. Then I grabbed a few more snapbacks in that store. I got the Ed Hardy little strap back right here. This was super cheap for only two bucks. I figured this amount of embroidery I had to cop. This I probably will sell because it fits my head a little bit strange. Actually, it fits pretty well, but I just don't know if I would honestly rock and shock this, but it is still a dope line encrusted hat. <laughs> oh wait, that's a tiger. Then I got the really amazing lobster red, red lobster, bricks and snapback right here. I think this is only two bucks as well. So I had to go ahead and get this piece of streetwear, La Flame. Straight up. Then at Savers, I had a stun on the haters, you guys already know. So I got this really sick nine piece straight eight ball all leather jacket right here. It is by Michael Hoban. I love the way this fits. This is not for sale, it's staying in the personal collection. Eight ball on one elbow, eight ball on the other, eight ball on the back. This thing is so freaking dope. And then my life wouldn't be complete without grabbing that to a Kuji Fuguchi heat. Check it out. We got the Kuji embossed all embroidered hoodie. Kuji patch on the sleeve. This is a very, very clean. It got golden hits that will make Rumpelstiltskin pissed all up on the kangaroo pouch and the drawstrings with the red stripe all up on the hood and the five little Kuji dots on top amazing then at savers i went ahead and grabbed some utah heat i got this really dope salt lake city little hoodie type of shindig pullover thing this is really sick really 90s and will be for sale and then i had to go ahead and acquire the tommy hill figure crew neck with tommy jeans going all down the sleeves with a sick ribboning and then last but certainly not least i stopped by trill will for a quick slice of time i grabbed the new york yankees 47 brand little hat in black and teal with the light gray under brim very clean very great condition and this will be up for grabs and then last but not least for the personal collection i got some really sick christian dior designer crew neck bruh it has embroidery going down the back each piece is a different piece of fabric, the maroon, the navy, and the gray. It again has a kangaroo pouch to store your Joey in or your little kid that you had outside of wedlock. Either way, it will work. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Live the dream. Eat ice cream. I'm sorry for keeping you guys waiting for so long. I've been hella busy. It's my last semester of college. So once I graduate, there will be no lag in videos ever. Peace and love. I will catch you guys next time. I am out. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I rules And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.